Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we're going to look at create and update and delete. So I thought I'd get to that in the previous video but as ever these things do take a little bit of time to explain. So I'm just going to go and create ourselves a create action. I'm going to get on with uh, with this a little bit quicker now because uh, hopefully the basics are, are looking at least a little bit okay and yeah you're ready to take it sort of to the next step. So I'm going to have a route which when someone sends uh, a bit of text to, then it's going to create us a post with with that and a bit more stuff in it as well, just so that there's something in there otherwise. So we'll just call it like create. And obviously this is not brilliant, um, but it, it does the job for the purposes of demonstration. This is not obviously the way that you would want to do it in the real world is all I'm trying to say. Uh, and then so maybe the first thing that I want to think about is uh, what happens when we've created an item. I don't really want to go ahead and create tons of templates and stuff uh, as this isn't really going to be done by a like a form or anything that will come in a later series. Um, I, I just want to redirect. So when when we've created an object, we're just going to this redirect to root and our root name is just list. That's where we want to go. So I'm just going to pass this in list. So once things have gone to plan or, or however things have happened, we should end up back on our list of posts just to clear what's happening there. Now, any time that we're sort of working with entities, aside from when we're just trying to pull them out and query them, uh, what we want to do is set ourselves up in such a way that makes this a little bit easier to work with. So we're just going to do this, get doctrine like we've done already. And then I'm going to do get manager. And again, this is another sort of syntax thing that you'll see quite frequently. So we get access to this EM, which is the entity manager. We're going to come back to why we need that shortly, but we, we want to create ourselves a new uh, post. So I, we're just going to call it post. Again, you can call this anything that you like. These are just sort of conventions, or at least post isn't, but entity manager is like that. Anyway, so I'm going to do post equals new Reddit post like that. And then on my post, I'm just going to set a title of um, hello, Chris, something like that. I don't know. Um, and so that's that's it. We've got a, that's an entity ready to go. Um, this stage it's not been saved to the database. So we need to save it. And we do that by persisting it, which, is, as I said in the first video, when you come to doctrine, there's tons of weird terms like persistence and hydration and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and, you know, DQL, whatever. These are just terms that you, you kind of need to get used to, to using. There's no real way around this. This is just the terminology that Doctrine uses. So we persist, and then to make sure that that goes to, off to the database, we actually have to flush it. So what this is going to do is, uh, well, it's not going to do anything with that text at the moment. So actually, that's going to break a little bit. Uh, let's just get rid of that text at the moment. Just say create. Um, we'll come back to to put in some text in in a, in a very short moment. So we've got a create root. And that's just going to go off and create us an entity and persist it to the database. And if we look, it's not in the database yet. And then if we go to slash create, which should have sent us back. And actually, it's already dumped it off into there um, and refresh. And we've got access to that hello, Chris. And again, we can put something onto the URL to make this a little bit more dynamic. So if we put create and then some text uh, and maybe maybe we'd want to set a default on this so that we can call it without uh, without breaking if we don't pass in anything but instead we'll just create an entity that gets this uh, this create and then a name so we'll say world and now we got hello world so you know um, super basic but it does the job so we we know that we've got these entities created inside our database but what if we want to go ahead and delete them so or, or could we update them first uh, let's do Let's do update first because why not? So again, we're just going to go ahead and set up a root at root and we need to set this to be, so we're going to do update and then we'd probably do, well for now we'll just start off without passing in anything just so that it makes it as easy as possible. So we'll call this one update like that and then we'll do pub function update action and we'd probably want to pass in an ID so that we know which row or which entity that we're we're going to be updating but for the moment again we'll just do it the the sort of the basic way get manager and then once we we need to actually pull out a record to update uh, so let's just do that manually so we'll say post equals this and in fact we don't need to do that at this stage we can just do em get repository so that's like a very uh, short-handed syntax which is uh, so we, you can see that this get doctrine get manager 
gives us our entity manager. We use the same concept there. Um, but once we've done that, we don't we can use EM to sort of shortcut that bit. So that's that's why this bit allows me to to shortcut and not have to type in this get doctrine get manager or this get doctrine get entity uh, repository or oh, sorry just get repository yeah lots of words lots of long words um, app bundle so our app bundle uh, reddit post is what we're after and then well, let's just find uh, id2 and let's this time so again this is going to return a post um, the thing is here uh, doctrine uh, sorry php storm's not clever enough to figure out that what we've got back now is a post so we can sort of trick not trick uh we can help php storm along by saying that our var post contains a reddit post like that so now we've got access to all our methods so that's why you will see occasionally dotted throughout the code these little um comments that sort of tell php storm or other editors i'm sure other editors do this too um but that's that's what we do so we'll say updated title and then we need to flush this change to the database now we don't actually need to persist this change uh, because persistence is only important the first time that you create the object or the entity uh, at this stage we can just call flush so em flush and that should do the job good enough to uh, to get us to where we need to be so after this method is run then it's going to have updated the title and then the database record is going to be updated and then so we're just going to do the same thing this redirect to root and we're going to pass in the root name of list uh, and that should be good as well so we should after we've run update of updated post id2 let's give that a shot update and yeah updated title so again we could do the same thing we could pass in um, an id and maybe some text as well so uh, text i don't know uh, we can pass in the ID, we can pass in the text, and then if we find the ID, now you'd want to put a little bit of error checking and whatnot around that, I'd imagine, but um, for, the mo for the moment we're not going to, and we're just going to say update that with text. So we can now say, okay, update post, let's see, update, and we want to update post 5, and we want to add in some text that says, blah, whatever. And so we get that, that's, that's pretty straightforward. So that's update done. Um, not a whole lot that you really need to know uh, on update but maybe you would want to do something like so if your post is not if you've not found it then so something like if not post then um maybe just redirect i don't know maybe you'd want to throw an error uh, so what let's see if if we try and do an update uh let's just see actually so if not post we're going to need to pass in some text as well. Uh, update, and we'll say update record 9, and we're just going to pass in some junk. Then it's just redirected us and not really blown up. Maybe you'd want to blow up, so throw um, this, create, uh, what else could we do? Not found exception, and then uh, that's not a record. I don't know. I'm not really sure what to put in in, the, in these situations. Update. And then, yeah, that's not a record. So that's really the gist of what's going on there. Sometimes it depends how you want to handle it, I suppose. So let's also cover off for the, the sake of completeness how we do a delete. And that, that's really enough to, to get you pretty dangerous with, uh, with, with this. So slash delete. And again, we're not going to pass anything in at this stage because let's just keep it simple when we're first learning the concept. So we'll call this root delete. And again, this one is, is one that you actually probably would want to redirect on delete anyway. So this one's probably the, 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 the most realistic of them all. Delete action. And um, yeah, so we want to do the same concept again. This, get doctrine, get manager. That gives us access to the entity manager. Then we need to get access to the post. So post equals em. Get repository, app bundle, reddit post find the id that we're interested in we're going to find id six why not uh, and then so again you probably want to put in there if you know if this is not a real post then redirect and maybe get, set a little flash message or or something otherwise we want to do em remove and then the object that we're trying to remove so just uh, em remove post and then we're going to need to do em flush so slightly different from the update uh, but we we can effectively like when we did the persist we also needed to tell it to remove and then again i'm just going to steal that bit there I'm too lazy to keep typing this stuff in so uh, when we've run delete then this should delete id6 so let's just give that a shot delete 
redirects us through. The second time through, um, it's going to die because, yeah, we didn't get anything back. So this is where you'd want to put in a little bit of error checking again. If if not post, then uh, redirect to root, something like that. So that if someone calls that by accident like me, then it doesn't all die. And again, you can make this more dynamic by passing in an ID and we could just stick in ID here, change this off like so. And then if we pass in an ID now, so that delete two, then we delete record two. And that's basically the other three methods that I wanted to cover in the previous video, but hopefully uh, you're seeing now that it's not that difficult.